Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and welcome to the best Android apps for November. For this roundup, my friend Francesco and I are together bringing to you 10 productivity apps to help you get work done. Do check out Francesco's channel if you like what you see. He makes some amazing videos. Link to his channel as well as all the apps that we talk about will be in the description. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the video. So first on my list is Habitica. Habitica is a very exciting way of getting shit done. We all know of to-do apps and while this one at its core is essentially a to-do app also, it's got a lot more going for it. Now for starters, when you first launch the app, you're given an avatar. After that, you're asked to create different kinds of tasks like a habit, a daily and a to-do. And each time you check off these tasks, you get coins and gems and level up and you can use that to purchase stuff like clothes, props, etc. for your avatar from the shop. So the idea here is to gamify your tasks and compete with other people for experience, coins and stuff like that. And finally, you can also join a clan to interact with others, which makes the whole process all the more interesting. And that's not even the full app. There's so much more to this app. Habitica is definitely a takeaway from the run of the mill to do app. Do check it out. Hello everyone in the tech devoted community. Thank you very much to Siraj for having me here on the channel and for the lovely warm welcome. My name is Francesco and I run a YouTube channel all about productivity apps and resources, talking about all those stuff to help you get more done in your day. So feel free to follow me over on there and also to follow Tech Devoted if you haven't already. So I'm going to start off my list with Engross. Engross is a Pomodoro-like time application which is perfect for working across your day. If you're looking to focus for like 25 minutes on, five minutes off, you have a great and nifty little timer to get things done across your day. It's really easy to set the timer up and perfect once you get it going. Next on my list is ES Disk Analyzer. This is an app that lets you manage your phone's storage. It divides the files into different categories like redundant files, which lets you delete duplicate files. Then you have something called large files, and this allows you to see all the files that are greater than 10 megabytes in size. And again, if you think you're not using something, just select it and delete. Now, perhaps my favorite feature of ES Disk Analyzer is the image compression. It works wonders. You can compress an image to half of its initial size. For example, this 5 MB image, I can compress to 2.5 MB just by selecting and hitting compress. And the best part, the quality loss is actually not that bad. Overall, this is a pretty nifty app. So my second recommendation is going to be Swipes. Now Swipes is available on iOS and Android and also web as well. And it provides you with a pretty neat task management experience. It's great for if you want to tally some of your things you need to do across your day and combine them with a couple of other items you've got later in the day to do. You can have this list here in the center called now where you need to get things done currently. And then you have a later list for when you need to do them later they will pop up as well there. It is a very handy application and very popular as a way to get things done with all of your activities across your day. Decision crafting is an app that lets you well make decisions in a quick and easy way. So you basically open the app up and they have ready to use templates that you can edit according to your needs. So say for example, if you can't decide which phone to get between the Nokia 3310 and the newly released iPhone X, Click on the template that has two options and start editing. You can edit the factors that you'd be considering while comparing the two things. So in this case, it would be form factor, speed, design, battery life, etc. And once you've customized everything, you can pull this bar kind of thing and give the items different ratings. And once you've done that, hit the tick mark and the app will calculate which option got the better score. And just like that, you can objectively make a decision in almost no time. This is a great app that I think could be useful in all walks of life. Now, my next recommendation is called Griddle. This is a workspace application for teams to keep themselves organized across their day. Now, if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like Slack or some of the alternatives, you might like Griddle. Griddle provides you with a workspace where you can name it, invite colleagues along, and then once you've got your colleagues there, you can start chatting with them about specific topics or even directly. There are some really neat productivity tips and tools inside of this application, and it does provide a pretty neat experience available on Android and iOS. My next pick is not in, or is it not in? I don't even know how you pronounce it, but not in helps you in reminding things you need to do, writing down random numbers, 
you do not want to save in your contacts and so much more with the help of notifications. The reminder doesn't pop up or ring, it just sits there in your notifications and still does its job very efficiently. It's a pretty straightforward app, open it up and just type your to-do or reminder or whatever it is and click the plus button and you'll see the reminder in the notification tray. To add more, click on one of the existing notins and to delete, simply swipe left or right. Now this is one of my favourite note taking applications, Zoho Notebook provides you with a pretty cool way to clip things across your day, everything from voice recordings to short checklists and everything in between including images and location. Now it's a very easy to use experience and definitely worth it, available on Android, iOS and also on the web too and Mac and it's also free as well which is perfect for clipping things with no issues of cost. Now my next and final recommendation also happens to be an app from Zoho Corporation. No, this is not sponsored by them or anything, it's just a coincidence. Going by the name Zoho Sign at its core, what it does is let you sign documents on the go. The app is pretty straightforward. Again, just open it up, import your PDF or image and tap anywhere on the screen to get the different options. You can of course do a regular signature, but in addition to that, you can also add simple text, date and a bunch of other things. And once you're satisfied with the result, you can directly download it to your phone or email it. My final recommendation is called Smarter Time and this is a pretty neat timeline tracker where it tracks all of your phone activity across a day and brings that into a lovely timeline. You can manually add stuff like things like eat outs, groceries and even like going to do a bit of sport and this is a great way to see a timeline of your work day or even your leisure days and actually keep track of all of that. It's available on Android and it's pretty easy to get started with and great way if you're someone who likes to keep track of all of your tasks. But that about wraps it up for this list guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing and also do check out Francesco's channel uh, but it's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted. Oh